In this video, we are going to have a look at how to set up single sign-on or SSO for the Chrome browser on a Windows 11 machine using Intune. So I have my Windows 11 machine over here, the test machine, and to kind of simulate the experience that we are trying to achieve, let me just fire up Microsoft Edge browser and let me go into one of the Microsoft 365 endpoints. So let me go for office.com, for example. Let's just go to Google first. Let's just clear the page. So if I just go into office.com, it wouldn't prompt me for a username and a password. It will just automatically sign me into the Office 365 portal by using the credentials that's been logged into the Windows machine. So this works out of the box for Microsoft Edge if you are on an Entra joint machine and you're using your credentials to log in. But it doesn't work out of the box for Chrome. So we have the Chrome browser over here which we have installed uh, by using Intune uh, and it was covered in a previous video in our Intune series. So we are trying to achieve the same experience for the Chrome browser as well. So when you launch Chrome and go into office.com or any other Microsoft 365 endpoints like the mailbox, so outlook.office365.com, it just signs you in straight away. So that is what we are trying to achieve. So for that, we need to have the ADMX files for Chrome. Now, up until last year, we were using an extension for Google Chrome called Windows Accounts, and we were using Intune to push the extension onto the browser and make it in such a way that the user, the end user, can't disable or delete the extension. And it was passing the account information and having that SSO experience. Now, the recommended approach is to use the Chrome ADMX files and configure the policy in that fashion. In due course, we might end up having the same set of policies uh, within the sessions catalog or within the templates. But up until now, we need to have the ADMX files imported. So the first step that we need is we need to download the ADMX files. So for that, so step number one is to download the Google Enterprise Bundle. So for that, let's go into google.com and search for Chrome Enterprise Bundle Download. So let's Google that. And the first option that we have is download bundle. So let's click on that one. And let's select the bundle 64-bit. So click on that for the bundle to be downloaded. It's about 168 meg in size. I already have the file downloaded in my downloads folder. So let me close this off. Let me just pause the download. And let me go into the downloads folder. And as you can see, I have the Google Chrome Enterprise Bundle 64. So if I go into it, there's a couple of folders in it. And the one that we are looking for is the configuration. And within configuration, you have the ADMX folder, which has the templates. So we need a couple of those. So we need the Chrome one. We need Google and Google Update. So let's copy those uh, files. And let me just open up a new window. And I have created a folder called Chrome SSO. So I'm just pasting it over there so that I have all the files that are that is required for ingesting the ADMX files into the Intune. So let's just go back to the other one. Let me just keep it side by side and along with the ADMX files I need the ADML file which is the language one so for that let's go into the English US folder so within the bundle configuration and ADMX let's go into English US and let's pick the Chrome ADML Google and Google update let's copy that and let's just paste it onto the other window where we have so let's paste it over there and now we have the required ADMX and ADML files. But for this to work, this ADMX file requires a Windows ADMX file as a, as a base requirement. So we need to have that one as well. And for that, let's just go back into any Windows 11 machine. So I'm running a Windows 11 machine over here. So let's go into Windows, see Windows folder, and let's go into a folder called Policy Definitions. So let's click on that one. And the file that we are looking for is windows.admx. So I scroll all the way down and let's go to windows. Let's just try and pick it, that's the one. So let's copy that and paste it in the other folder. And we need the ADML file that goes along with the windows.admx. So for that, scroll all the way up, go into the English US folder, and let's just pick windows.adml. There it is, copy it, let's close that and paste it. So here we have all the files that we need. Now we need to import the ADMX files in a specific order. So we need to have the base requirement met first. So we need to import the windows.admx first, followed by 
Google, then Google Update, and Chrome. So we have all the files that we need in this particular folder called Chrome SSO within the Downloads folder. So let's close that off and go into the Intune portal. So over here, if you go into Devices on the left-hand side and you go into Windows and come into Configuration Profiles, within the Policies option where we have all the policies listed, so this is all the policies that we have created so far, you have the option called Import ADMX just next to it. So let's click on that one. So let's click on that one and wait for the page to load. So let's click on the Import button. Now let's select the first one, which is the Windows one. So let's go into the Chrome SSO folder, pick the Windows one, and let's pick the Windows ADML file that goes along with that. English is pre-filled as a language. Let's click on Next, and let's Create by clicking the Create button. It got uploaded within about 10 to 15 seconds, so if you click on Refresh, it should say that it is available and the version is 1.1 and create a date is today. So now let's import the other ones. So the order is very important, so we need to have the Windows one first. Now let's go back and click on importing ADMX. Let's now pick, um, let's now pick Google. Let's click on open, and let's pick the ADML that is associated with Google, which is the google.adml. And English is set as a language. Let's click on next and create. Again, let's wait for the upload to finish. It's still in progress. Again, after about 10 seconds, the google.admx file is available. So let's click Import again. Let's import the rest of the ones. Let's pick Google Update. And let's go back and pick the ADML file for Google Update. And language is set to English. Let's click on Next and Create. The Google update took a slightly longer than the other two, so now that is available as well. So let's click the last one to be imported. So let's click on the import button and let's go and find Chrome, chrome.admx and the associated chrome.adml. And English is again set as a language. Let's click on next and create. Upload is in progress as you can see. Let's click on refresh. Still in progress. The upload has been completed. So as you can see, we have all the four ADMX files being imported along with the ADMLs. So Windows is the base requirement, and then we have Google, Google Update, and Chrome. So all four are there. Now let's go back into Policies and create a new configuration profile. So let's click on New Policy, and let's select the platform as Windows 10 and later, and let's pick Templates as the one. And let's go down and pick up imported administrative templates which is in preview as the option to select and let's click on create give it a sensible name so let's go for say chrome sso settings sso which is a good enough name let's copy that paste it in the description let's click next now let's search for microsoft and it comes up the first one Allow automatic sign into Microsoft Cloud Identity Provider. And it says not configured and it is for the device. So let's click on that. And it opens up the side pane and it gives you a block of information regarding what this policy does. So it says configures automatic user sign in for accounts backed by Microsoft Cloud Identity Provider. So that is what we need. So that's the SSO option. We need to enable that. So we click on enabled and we say enable Microsoft Cloud Authentication. And let's click on OK. So the reason why we imported the ADMX file is to get this particular option because it is not yet in the templates or in the settings catalog within Intune. We might have it later on, but for the time being, this is what we need to do. So we need to ingest the ADMX which brings the setting and pick the correct setting that we need, set it to be enabled, and let's click on Next. Scope tags are completely optional, so let's click on Next. Now regarding assignments, we could add all devices or users or all groups. As I have only one machine in this uh, domain and we are trying to test, let's just click on all devices. Similarly, I could also go for a group option. So I could click on add groups and I can pick a group that has my machine in it or all the machines that I have and then select it that way. You might want to kind of reduce the scope of the policy that you're trying to deploy and test it on a set of number of machines. Say for example, I have one that says Intune Pork. So that might have just the machines within the IT department, a couple of machines, and you can deploy it onto that machine, experience 
and get a feel for as to how the SSO works. And if you're happy with it, you can come back to the policy and then flip it to all devices or, or pick a group that has a wider audience, a wider number of machines. So entirely up to you. But if you're trying to test it out, it might be a good idea just to have a group that has a couple of machines in it and then go with that particular option. In my case, I just have one machine, so I'm okay with having either a group or clicking on all devices. It's going to do the same thing. Now let me click on all devices. And we don't need any filters. And let me click on next. It gives you a summary of what we have done. So we're just trying to enable one particular policy, which is highlighted in bold. Allow automatic sign into Microsoft Cloud Identity Providers. And we are enabling that option. And currently it is assigned to all the devices. And let's click on create. The policy is getting created. It's saved. So let's refresh the option so that it brings the current list of policies that we have and it should have our Chrome SSO settings and click on our policy that we have just created. So as you can see, nothing has been done. So zero succeeded and zero errors. So let's just speed up the process of testing. So rather than waiting for the machine to check in periodically with the Intune platform and trying to get the policy, let's just force it uh, similar to what we do in the AD world, like with a GP update slash force. So we could do it in both ways. We could trigger it from the Intune portal. So for that, let's click on devices on the left hand side. And let's go into Windows, pick the machine on which we want to test, so which is Cloudific-PC at the moment. So I do have another machine as well. So let me click on Cloudific-PC. And you will have an option called Sync. So a button that says Sync. And it says Intune will attempt to check in with this device. And if the check-in is successful, it will sync current actions or policies or applications to the device. Would you like to continue? That is exactly what we need. So let's click on Yes. So this triggers the sync from the portal side onto the machine. Similarly, as an end user, you could go into your machine and let's just close this one and go into the settings pane. So from the start menu, click on settings and go into accounts and go for access, work or school and expand the Android ID connection that you have. Click on info And let's just scroll down and you can click on the sync button, which is under the device sync status. So this is triggering the sync from the end device machine, trying to contact the Intune platform up in the cloud and then trying to pull the information down for this particular machine. So we have triggered it both ways from the Intune portal as well as from the machine. So let's wait for the sync to complete and we can test out our SSO experience. As you can see, the sync has been completed. So let me close off the settings window. And let me fire up Google Chrome. And let's see whether we can have an SSO experience using the browser. Let's wait for it to load. Let's close those. I don't want to restore the pages. So let's go into office.com. Ideally, you should be logging into the office portal with SSO. So it shouldn't ask you for any credentials. That is what we are seeing. It's taking a bit of time to load the page. It's probably down to my virtual machine, which is running off my laptop. So nothing about the portal and the experience itself. So you're logged in straight into office.com and you can click on your apps and that should expand all the apps that you have and you should be able to log into your mailbox or Teams or any other applications that you have using SSO. So it's asking for all the updates on the virtual box. We don't need that at the moment. So it looks like it has worked. So there are the apps. So let me click on Outlook. That should open up your mailbox straight away again by using the SSO experience that we have. There's my mailbox, so everything seems to be okay. So let me close that off, remove the machine that I have from the screen, and let's go back into the Intune portal and see what Intune has to say about the policy, whether it has been successful or not. So let's go into Devices within the left-hand side. Click on Windows by the platform. Let's go into Configuration Profiles. Pick up the policy that we have created, which is Chrome SSO settings. Uh, let's just refresh. And there it is. It says succeeded on one machine. And if I click on view report, it should give us the option and the information regarding the machine that we have. So Clarific-PC, the logged in user is Joey, and the check-in status is success. So it looks like everything has been working correctly the way we expected. So to summarize, we need to have the ADMX file imported into Intune platform along with the Windows base ADMX. And that lets up the option that we have to enable SSO in Chrome by using Intune. So we set up the configuration profile, push it to the right machines that we have, and wait 
depending upon how the cloud behaves. It might take five minutes for the options to be lit up on the device once it's been checked in, or it might take a sl slightly longer. And also it might take slightly longer to update within the portal, but given enough time, you will have the policy working correctly. So if this video has been informative for you, please do check my other videos in the channel and do consider subscribing to the channel as I upload videos on a daily basis around Microsoft 365, Intune and Azure. Thank you.